Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Wolfman Walsh, and this is another post-Christmas holiday sale special buy from Smoky Mountain Knifeworks. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't, I don't, I didn't go overboard. I, uh, I bought things that were inexpensive to begin with, and then we're on an additional sale. So, I mean, really, I saved money. I saved money. That's that's the lie we're going to tell ourselves and our wife. Um, but this, you know, Enzo got one. So, you know, if he jumps off the bridge, I got to jump off the bridge too. The Rough Rider, Spades, Black Appaloosa. He has the uh, Coke Bottle Jack. I went with the Capital Intern. <laughs> Look at that. Fancy box. I appreciate the thought. But look how beautiful that is. Wow. Love that spade, sh spade shield. Mm. Nice little pull to it there. So nice. Yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous knife. So we have a sheep's foot blade on one side and a pin blade on the other other nice and sharp i gotta hand it to them we handled several of these in the store oh that's got a strong close on that one uh we handled several of these in the store on all of them were were just near perfect no gaps no spacing i mean nothing nothing you can't feel it it's, it's like it's not even there it's perfect and I love the way that this black Appaloosa or this dyed Appaloosa uh, came out. No two are going to be this, the same, especially if you go on the SMKW website. The, um, the picture that they have of this one specifically is really dark. I mean, it's, it's more black than it is white. Really dark. And so when you get it, if you purchase this one, don't be surprised uh, that it's a lot lighter. Or don't be surprised if you get a dark one. They are... You know, they're all one of a kind. Boy, I don't have enough good enough nail because I have stress issues. Let's pull that with my right thumb. Woo! That one is tight. That's man, that's almost like a nine getting that one out. Yeah, does have a half stop. This one. Yeah, more like a five. It's a lot better. This is a handsome knife. This, this is a handsome knife. I got to hand it to Enzo. I never thought I would be a traditional knife guy, but he is, uh, he, he's winning me over to the traditional side. He'll never win me over to the spider Coast side. It's not, it's not going to happen. But the traditional side, I can, I can see the allure. Uh, there are other spade patterns. Uh, coming soon and I don't know if they're on the website yet I don't think they are because they weren't last time I checked but there's going to be like 11 or 12 different uh, spade designs in this black Appaloosa but then there's another one. Oh, there's another one and uh, once it comes out I'm probably going to buy one of each so it's called the uh, it's still under the spade shield, but it's going to be called the cinnamon bone. And once you see that, just go ahead and know that you're going to get a bunch of videos of me unboxing those. Because it is, it is just as gorgeous, but it's a, it's a lot... Uh, ooh, what's a good word? Not rustic or deep or just worn in, but it's, it's a lot more weathered looking uh, and just... Inside locus. I can't explain it to you. You got to see these things in person. You got to get them in hand. We we had the opportunity to do that, and I'm very much looking forward to the the next run of these. And some of them are even coming out with a uh, a Damascus uh, blade. So they'll probably be a little bit more expensive than these, uh, but it's Rough Rider, uh, pretty good quality, not a lot of money. So uh, what was I? 
Did I ever tell you the price? I don't think I told you the price. My apologies. So this normally will run about uh, $17. When I purchased it, it was on that after Christmas special and whatnot. It was $11. Again, $5 less. Are you really going to break the bank? No. So go ahead and buy it, whether it's $11 or $16. This is a great, great uh, kind of gentleman's carry. You know, just a great traditional. And from someone that's not big on traditionals, I am starting to uh, to really see why Enzo is, uh, is so fond of the traditionals as he is. So. Um, anyway, let's look up some specifications for this thing. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't say any of them. Two blades. It doesn't say the length on either one on the website. Uh, it doesn't list the steel. It just says polished stainless. So probably 440A, something. Oh, wait, look at there. On the website, it doesn't say, but right there on the blade, it says 440A. Very cool. So cheers to them putting it on the blade because the website doesn't have it. Well, that is such a stout pull right there. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, three and a quarter inch closed. Let's measure that. Oh, hang on. One second. All right. I really got to start bringing this over here before I, you know, start my videos. Do to do about a two and a quarter inch blade for the main blade there. I don't know if y'all care about the little one or not. But it's just surprising how stout that pool is. Uh, one, and, one and one eighth of an inch on that little blade there. Beautiful, beautiful. I am just, I am so stunned at how well, how smooth, how put together this knife is. This thing is, it's great. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming along on this little voyage. I know these videos are a lot shorter than what we normally do, but hey, you know, sometimes that that's okay. <laughs> Five minute videos and then we do three hour long videos. So thanks for, thanks for watching all of them. Thanks for liking and thank you for subscribing if you haven't done so already. Uh, I'm Wolfman Walsh and until next time, take care.